Who want one last trip to the long trail? The topic of today's video is a story reboot. Not even just a story reboot, a full on reboot, remaster, start from the beginning and tell all the story, all the characters again in detail. This is something that I see from time to time and I just completely disagree with it. Before we even get into the topic, I want everyone to go into the comment section right now and put yes or no, do you want the story to be reboot? First off, if you go back to Tekken 1, Tekken 2, Tekken 3, yes, those characters may have a lot of rich lore and story and stuff like that, but you don't really see it. You know, you gotta read a magazine, a news article, a bunch of different ways you get this information, but a lot of it is not necessarily through the game. And there is a big portion of the community who would like to see a Tekken 1 story, you know, like a two hour cutscene, like we're gonna get with Tekken 8, Mortal Kombat 1, Tekken 7, but for Tekken 1. And that portion of the community, you know, I think that would be really cool as well. You know, see Kazuya get thrown down the mountain, climb back up, and like see him grow and progress and work through that. I think that would make for a excellent movie. You talk about something, Tekken, that should be turned into a movie, it's Kazuya from age 5 to, I would say, Tekken 4. That is would be one of the best movies if they got the right talent, but let's not get distracted. I do agree that there's a lot of moments in there that we missed, some uh, things that we didn't even know happened that happened and would be so special. But what's really cool about Tekken 8, Tekken 7, and just future Tekken games, they often go back, flashback to those elements and they expand upon it. Yes, sometimes they kind of retcon this, change that. That's kind of what happens when you try to fill in the gaps. You gotta kind of change some things to fit the narrative. That's the story side of it. But another angle that people often talk about is like gameplay, it's like characters. Heiachi looked like he's gonna be gone from Tekken 8. He hasn't been announced. We don't know if he'd be DLC. Some people are saying Doom is a pre-order bonus. It's just copium everywhere in the Heiachi main community. And I always try to tell people like, you know, just appreciate the fact that Heiachi's been in every single Tekken game so far. There's characters who's been missing for so long, Jun Kazama. There's some characters who's been there, but they haven't even been the main focal point of the story. Heiachi has been the guy for 30 years. So that's something you just got to appreciate. You know, at a certain point in time, you got to pass the title to the next generation, the next era. Think about it. Kazuya Mishima is like 40, 50 years old. And this guy is still stuck in the shadow of Heiachi Mishima. If he doesn't step out now, when will he? But me personally, the side of the fence that I fall on is that they should not reboot the story and they should continue you going and going and going because in my opinion I feel like the Tekken story just got good it just got exciting everything that we experienced so far has been one about the Mishimas and it's been two not really any movement like you have Heiachi punch Kazuya Kazuya dies Kazuya punch Heiachi Heiachi dies then Kazuya comes back is it oh now Jen is here and then it's you know it's like there's not really a story there it's just three guys punching each other and sometimes someone one dies and then come back there's not really a story there that's interesting for anyone else besides people who play Mishimas now grant you there is a lot of people who play Jin, Kazuya, Heiachi, Devil Jin, the Mishimas but Tekken should be so much more than that right you have so many characters who've been stuck in their journeys for so long and to hit the reset switch on that now would be crazy we have a tweet here from Harada that kind of weighs in on the topic and there's also also a news article, one of the first news articles about Tekken 8 from Harada. I'll read both of these. The tweet says, Tekken story is always moving forward into the future. We're constantly updating it as a game. So the desire is always to make the latest work rather than remake wins. The person who saved this and uploaded it to the Tekken subreddit says, fun fact, Harada is not on board with the idea of Tekken getting a reboot slash remake as he believes his story should move forward into the future. And I kind of agree with what Harada is saying here. Yes, you could remake Tekken 3 and you can cash in on that a lot of companies do look at call of duty they went back to their cash cow modern warfare 2 because they know that's nostalgia they know it would make money of course if they made a tekken 3 remake or a remaster it would probably be very successful and and that's the thing too it's look once again look at call of duty 
Yes, they remade Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but it's absolutely nothing like the original. It couldn't be farther from what the original actually was. And if they did Tekken 3 again, who's to say it would be the same thing? You know, that game's like 30 years old. You know, if they revisited that, it would be drastically different just because of how much time has progressed where the franchise is right now. And you can apply that to any game, Tekken 1, Tag 1, Tekken 5, Dark Resurrection. Games kind of move forward naturally. And it's hard to go back to the days where everything was super difficult and try hard and no tutorials and no this. It's hard to go back because it's progressed so for, so much. But I want to go to this IGN news article because Harada um, was asked about when the story for Tekken 8 will end in an IGN news article. And his answer was so interesting. I, I love his answer. I'm pulling up the news article right now. Okay, here it is. The IGN person says, you often talk about how this story has been almost 30 years in running now. Have you ever imagined ending it? Do you have a ending in your head? What IGN is referring to even before we get to Harada's response is the fact that Tekken has the Guinness World Record for the longest running story. This is how important the storyline is, not just about lore or story or characters, but just in the entire gaming industry. Tekken holds the Guinness World Record. And if Tekken does a reboot or something of that nature like Mortal Kombat, the title is just gonna be passed over to Street Fighter because I'm pretty sure they're next up, right? Harada says, I actually had an ending kind of plotted out in 1996. I was writing down the story and thinking, okay, well, we'll probably have one more after this and then that's how it's going to be wrapped up. But then as I was making it, I thought the games could be made really quickly. I think the quickest I ever made a new game was in six months. So I thought if I could make a lot more installment, then we'd be finished. But then it turned out development stretched and then the games had a longer period between games and it took longer than I thought. In the meantime, you have these new staff joining in partway through who come up with ideas for a particular installment which puts off the ending even further so it just grew from there so the ending I didn't see it taking this long to get there but it's just gradually grown along with the series if there's an end it will be when I'm buried whenever that is this will be the true end for Tekken once Harada is no longer you know guiding the ship if the mantle isn't passed to Michael Murray or Yasuda or Ikeda, once just like someone who's unrelated to who's there now take control, that is when Tekken, will, as we know it, will probably change. Because so far, it has been Harada pretty much guiding the ship. He took over in Tekken 3, and that's when all of these ideas and elements was really brought to the forefront. And once he's no longer there, whether he retires or whatever the case may be, that's when I think Tekken as we know it will come to an end. Because one thing too that I always respect about Harada and just Tekken in general is how Harada crafted some of these characters based off of his real life experience. I made a video about Heiachi probably like a year ago where I was talking about how Harada used like his relationship with his father to craft Heiachi as a character and yes Heiachi is very animated and very cartoonish you know he's a game character but he does hit home with a lot of people and a lot of people resonate with him and once again that's why people kind of refuse to let him go because he hits home you know it's a good character good characters can never die and people want it to return forever